see they're excav they've excavated the whole bottom of it. And they're put they've put down heavy, thick, thick plastic. This is the type of plastic that they use to line uh, a uh, landfill that they created at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal when they were going to shove all the toxic waste into the arsenal. Uh, that's there was their notion of cleanup was not to treat it or do anything with it, but just to dump it all into a big uh, lined landfill. And this is the kind of material that they use for the Rocky Mountain Arsenal project. So they said, well, it's because the lake is leaking. This lake's been here how many years? Decades? Many decades. And lake water, it, it, you know, it would seem interacts with the groundwater and vice versa. They infiltrate one to another. So why, why would there be a need, now that they're going to put uh, the recycled water into this, why would there be a need to put this heavy plastic on it and prevent it from migrating downward into the groundwater? It seems like that'd be a natural process the interaction between the surface water and the groundwater, that happens at every lake. So, kind of begs the question, why at public expense, Denver water ratepayers, which I'm one, are paying for this, this is a huge multi-million dollar project uh, between City Park and Washington Park where they're going to put this recycled water into it. So I don't see the point of lining it unless there's some concern about it not migrating downward into the groundwater as it's no, no doubt been doing for decades. Quite a big deal. Well, I was saying about the deal from 1994 that the polluters were going to have to pay for a more sophisticated on-site treatment plant at the Lowry Landfill site itself. And uh, they didn't want to have to do that, even though that was what uh, the record of decision said. So behind the scenes and in secret, they came up with a way to flush it. Uh, secret settlement agreements um, that were done uh, under the Webb administration with the city of Denver that owns the landfill. And the polluters got a screaming deal because what all of this does is that it, it, it uh, transfers their cost of liability and also the fact of their liability onto the public. So, you know, the liability of that, uh, and a lot of these compounds are persistent compounds at Lowry Landfill. They might have ended up in the sludge at uh, Metro Wastewater or at the Denver Water Recycling Facility, but still, it goes somewhere. But Dr. Helen Caldicott, who's a radiation uh, expert, she founded the Physicians for Social Responsibility, she said her greatest concern about this system would be tritium, radioactive element, that is uh, able to mix easily in water, so it wouldn't be removed by any process. Uh, tritium levels, she was concerned about in any kind of a process to recirculate water. And then there are all kinds of compounds, uh, including some that Lockheed Martin, formerly Martin Marietta, dumped at Lowry and at their site in Jefferson County that aren't treatable by routine methods. So, you know, this basically taking private liabilities, corporate liabilities at Lowry Landfill and putting them onto the public uh, for us to pay for as Denver Water rate payers. That's why our rates have skyrocketed, is to pay for this project, which is basically a tertiary treatment system for the polluters at Lowry.